Good afternoon, everyone. In today's video, we are going to be looking at a massive, uh, severe weather period ahead. Uh, as you can see, we're currently looking at today's severe thunderstorm outlook, which we do have an enhanced risk for severe thunderstorms here in the orange areas. Uh, we also have the uh, slight risk. We have two slight risks in effect for today, where you could also see more severe weather, all right? Also, the dark greens, we have some very widespread dark green areas, which is the marginal risk, and that's where you could see possibly some isolated severe weather possible today now the main tornado risk will be up there in the northeast you do have a hit two percent chance for tornadoes up there uh with also the main threat being wind we do have a 30 percent chance here uh for damaging winds that means you could see upwards of 70 or even 75 mile per hour wind gusts within these storms today we also have a significant wind risk which we don't usually see in a 15 percent risk but we do have a significant risk in upwards of 70 mile per hour winds will be possible also down here in the Texas Panhandle and New Mexico. So be aware of those storms. We could see dangerous storms in two areas of the United States today. And also, finally, hail risk is not going to be a big uh, threat for today. Only a 15% chance here for quarter-sized hail. Now, tomorrow's outlook, we do have a, a much more widespread severe uh, thunderstorm risk here in the Central Plains, which we do have a slight risk for severe thunderstorms there. Not a, a significant risk, but we do see that risk for severe thunderstorms uh, tomorrow. So definitely be aware uh, that those storms can be possible. They can be damaging, uh, but they're not going to be uh, really significant. Uh, just keep that in mind here. So there's that tornado risk because we have a 2% risk of tornadoes here and uh, a little bit of a weird shape there across the central plains. And also the wind risk. We do have a 15% uh, chance here for 60 mile per hour winds. And uh, for quarter size tail, we have a 15% chance there. Now here is Thursday's outlook. We do have a 15% chance here for severe weather possible here on Thursday across Iowa, Minnesota, uh, Wisconsin there, the Dakotas, and Nebraska. Nebraska, so be aware that there's also severe weather in the near future here. We're also going to be looking at Friday. Look at this. We have a widespread 15% chance here for severe weather on Friday, uh, ranging from Texas all the way up there into Michigan. We really haven't seen much uh, severe weather in Michigan yet this year, so it may be interesting here. But maybe quite interesting to see uh, that uh, see those storms in Michigan. Uh, also, here we are again in Saturday. We do have another uh, chance for severe weather across the Mid-Atlantic and Northeast. Here we are looking at the future radar here for today's severe weather. This is early this morning, so let's go out and move forward. Uh, throughout this afternoon let's go to around uh 12 p.m or so and uh this is about when i'm recording this video so about 1 p.m here as you can see we have those storms uh really uh going on there in pennsylvania and new york and those will continue throughout this afternoon as we head into more the later after with more of the mid afternoon hours you're seeing around the 3 p.m or so or 4 p.m eastern day that time you're seeing those storms really going there in new york and now uh, portions of the more of the mid atlantic you're seeing some of those cells could be potential uh, it could have a potential with those uh, tornadoes possibly in some of those discrete supercells there as you can see that does continue throughout the uh, late evening hour so about 6 p.m here and uh again mainly damaging wind threat but tornadoes is uh can't be ruled out at this time here as you can see that mainly goes into the atlantic ocean here as you head throughout more of the late evening hours and into the overnight hours it should be in the clear there now let's look at tomorrow's future radar. this is going to be around 3 p.m of tomorrow for central to that time we're going to move forward to 4 p.m 5 p.m this is going to be 6 p.m we're seeing those storms Firing off by 6 p.m. here in Nebraska, South Dakota, Iowa. Really strong storms are looking like here. And as we move on to 7 p.m., we're seeing those storms still ongoing there in Nebraska and Iowa. Those will continue to move a southeastern direction here. And we move into about 8 p.m. or so, around 9 p.m.-ish here in Nebraska, Kansas. And those storms even enter portions of Missouri here near the Quad Cities. Uh, so definitely keep an eye on those as they will have a big potential here for mainly damaging winds and hail. But tornadoes, again, cannot be ruled out with this storm system for tomorrow. They're going to be come a lot more widespread through the overnight hours just for reference this is going to be around 12 a.m or so so a uh, very widespread storms but not really combined they're kind of in different areas but still very clustered and widespread storms here around the kansas city area around uh the salina kansas area you will see some very 
cluster thunderstorms throughout the overnight hours. And look at those. These uh, enter more of Missouri and Iowa and Illinois. That's where you do get a very massive cluster of thunderstorms there uh, that will bring some flash flooding there in Iowa, Missouri, and Illinois. Uh, for Wednesday morning, as you can see, look at that. That goes into uh, 6 a.m. there. And look at that in Illinois and Missouri. is still definitely very seeing that thunder and rainfall, uh, but definitely not a risk for tornadoes there on Wednesday. But definitely a lot of a very rainy morning, just to keep it short there. Let's watch this new system that will be bringing some severe weather more to the Midwest areas. And again, uh, the, let's look at 3 p.m. of Thursday for that Thursday's risk. Uh, and as you can see, this is man. I think these uh, storms may be happening in more of the overnight hours into Friday because look at these. These look to be developing according to the GFS model around 3 a.m. or so. So overnight hours, it looks like for Thursday into Friday. Uh, but again, look at that risk. We do have a, a, wide, a widespread risk across the Midwest into the south. Up to you can see more severe storms here for Friday. Of course, this is a GFS model, and this is a little bit far out, so things may change as we go on with time. Uh, but as you can see, again, that risk for severe weather on a Friday uh, also looks to be verifying according to the GFS model here. And as we move forward, again, another risk for severe weather here across the northeast and mid-Atlantic there. Again, more storms possible. I don't think this is going to be anything like a significant outbreak. But definitely a good old uh, widespread severe weather event uh, that could be possible here for late week. If you did enjoy the video and you uh, want more updates on this upcoming severe weather outbreak, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on post notifications. We won't miss a single update or live stream on this upcoming uh, big time severe weather event. Once again, happening uh, for mid-May. Uh, but I will have definitely more updates on this, more daily videos uh, uh, coming out here on this uh, severe weather that's possible over the next uh, pretty much two weeks or so. So um, share this video with any friends or family that may want these uh, types of daily uploads, uh, anyone that may be interested in these types of uh, daily weather updates. But as always, stay safe.